Good morning, this is Marcus Conti reporting on it's the middle of the day on a Sunday, beautiful Sunday in August 20th, 2017. And here we are. Today we're going to name some names. Now it is virtually impossible that the Department of Sanitation has operated for, I don't know, 30 years. The enforcement division uh, has operated for about 30 years with a illegal 10 ticket quota. At one point it was 16. Okay, and uh, so they've been doing this for a long time. And it's virtually impossible for the uh, senior staff at DSNY to not know about it. So we're going to name some names today. Involved in uh, my termination, who were, was aware of the quota and decided to turn their uh, turn a blind eye to it, is uh, Miss Riley. That's Nancy Riley. She's your HR director. We have Teresa Neal, the director of Office Equity, the, the Diversity and Inclusion. <laughs> I always laugh when I read ec uh, div Diversity and Inclusion uh, in the same sentence with the SNY because none of those things actually exist. Then there's Philip Crow. He's your healthcare facility director. There's Rita Bracken, the department advocate. David Callery, Callery, yeah, sure, the director of personal management division. Okay. Now, those are the five that must vote to terminate you. Okay. Those are the five people that voted to terminate me for the atrocities that I did to DSNY. And all the things that uh, were brought up. And uh, in light of the fact that they knew all along, they were clearly informed that a 10-ticket quota ha had existed. So, it again, I'll repeat. It is The, the, the way this works is that, um, well, let's just go back, is that five people will vote on your termination. The issue comes up and uh, they decide if, you're worthy of employment at the SNY, and if all five say no, you're dead, you're out, okay? So in my case, all of these five higher-ups were faced with, were presented the evidence that clearly said that there is a quota, and Mr. Conti talked about it, and he's, he's coming forward, and what are we going to do? we got to get rid of this guy, and they all voted to get rid of me. Now, if these five people don't vote anonymously, then there's a, 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 apparently a tiebreaker, Okay, right, the tiebreaker would be the assistant commissioner, and his name is, his name is Robert Ortel, deputy commissioner, and guess who else? Catherine Garcia, the commissioner. Okay, so all of these seven people, as I'll say, I said again, it is impossible to believe that none of these senior level staff who voted to terminate me knew of the illegal ticket quota and the casual connection it had to my termination. All seven are complicit in the cover-up and demonstrate malice regarding my termination. These five voted to terminate me. Nancy, Teresa, Philip, Rita, David, as well as Robert and Catherine. Now guys, as I said before, it's impossible to have a quota and 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 vote <laughs> vote to terminate someone who all he did, all he's guilty of is talking about it. So again, it's time to get in front of this folks. And to my friends, you know where. These are the people you want to look at, okay? They're all complicit in this, okay? It's time to come clean, folks. Time to get in front of the story, supervisors at DSNY, people who wrote the fake write-ups. If you're following these folks' direction, you're going to go down in flames. So, time to come clean. <laughs>